The Target 12 investigators are once again taking you inside the Rhode Island Veterans Home. We've been going in depth on a cash strapped Bristol facility home to 200 wartime veterans in Rhode Island. And tonight we're talking to the man who runs the home about one cost cutting measure that means families who are visiting loved ones can no longer eat meals prepared by the staff there. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the details. The new policy that took effect at the beginning of the month has two exceptions to the rule, and this week visitors to the home can sit down for a Christmas meal with a veteran. Prior to December 1st, visitors at the veterans' home could have a meal with a resident if there was any food left over after the veterans were fed, but as part of a belt tightening measure following a multi million dollar budget deficit, that policy changed. Well, now we can take a look at whether or not uh, we can cut back on the portions that we're preparing. General Rick Backus is the administrator of the home and made the policy change. The memo obtained by Target 12 announced family members will only be allowed to dine with their resident on Thanksgiving and Christmas. Do you have a sense? as to how much money that food policy change is actually um, saving here at the Veterans Home? I, I do not because we just implemented the change the 1st of December. He so, says um, they did not do an analysis prior to the policy change. But it's very difficult for me to do that in the way that we run the dietary operations right now because we buy in bulk and we cook decentralized, so it was very difficult for me to come up with those kinds of numbers. Earlier this year, the Rhode Island Office of Veterans Services announced the home was facing a near $3 million budget deficit. They have since revised the shortfall to $2 million, and more cuts are expected. I think that we currently have a review team that's looking at all these uh, operations, and we'll make that recommendation. As we reported, the governor tapped the National Guard to review operations at the home. We're told that review should be completed by the end of the month. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.